You have kids? I do. You, you how many? Two. Really? Mm -hmm. Boys and girls? Um, I, I don't know if I want to answer that because I know, I think I know what you next. Girls. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. You've been watching my show. <laughs> Beta. <laughs> and that whole beta thing, I don't, that's a Greek thing. That's the Greek alphabet, alpha, beta. That's, Real man I, made boys that's, first. That comes from Freemasonry. And the Bible what? says, Jesus says that I am the alpha and the omega. So if the one who lives in me is the alpha and omega, that means that I can't be a beta. What? I can't be a beta if my Lord and Savior is the alpha. Well, why you make girls first then? Well, you, well, there you go with that myth right there. <laughs> and my belief, real men make, women, make girls first. Do you know when I was growing up, it was rare that men made girls first. Really? Honestly. I, I, I've been trying, over the years, I've been trying to reflect on the people I met over the years, my age range and older, and I can hardly think of men <laughs> who made girls first. It's just that men are so beta male or not. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think men can determine the sex of the child that they're going to have. We don't. We're, we're not the creator. We don't have that. Ability. Well, they can't determine just the, whether it's going to be a girl or a boy, but they know what to do to make sure it is a boy. Oh, could you please enlighten me? So, oh, I can't tell you that. On oh, you the can't show. tell. You, okay, off, it, off the off we the have camera. kids watching. <laughs> <off> the camera. <laughs> Remind me off the camera. I got. I want to hear this off the camera. I want to. See, learn. your dad should have told you. <laughs> he told me that part. Did I he make boys or girls first? I was first born. See, yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, after this, I want to hear. You were too close you to your me. mama. That's why you made girls first. What? The? <laughs> I got a few buddies from you know basketball team, and you know, I grew I up know. with and relatives that brothers that had girls first. So I know it's unfortunate. I love my daughter, so it's not up for No, me. not that you don't love them, but you know what I mean. That's not the What did you want first, a boy or a girl? And don't say, oh, I just want anything out of whatever God gave me. What did you want first, a boy or a girl? I mean, in all honesty, I wanted a boy. I re See, I can't hear you. I wanted a boy first, in all, I in all honesty. But I thank That's God right. for what he all gave me. All men want boys first, and they know what to do to make sure that happened. <laughs> but then when they make girls because they're afraid of their wife, well, I want a girl. They be lying. <laughs> so all men that made boys knew how to make boys? Yes. It didn't just happen? No. It was on purpose? Well, you know, if God decided well, if you're going to go and put a boy or girl there, right? Right. But the man, the, man knew, the man knew what to do to make sure God put that boy there. Oh, okay. Yeah. He helped him out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Amazing, huh? Amazing. Yeah. What is a man? A man is um, um, someone who has the male genitals made in the image and likeness of God and also is God's representative on the earth. To go further, um, a man accepts responsibility and he walks in it. Um, ultimately, from being saved you know, at a young age and going to church and going to church and learning, reading the word, I don't think a, a man can be a man without God. You need God to be a man, and you have to have him lead you, teach you, learn from him, and mm, that's my definition. But the, the, the biggest clear difference between a man and a woman is, is under our waist, below our waist. So. Do you believe that men should play in women's sports? No, not at all. Why not? I believe that that's a disadvantage. And in I what mean, way? women are coming, going against biological men. That's not even the way it's supposed to be. And do you know what's funny? When they first started the Olympics, they used to do the Olympics naked. You know why? Because they didn't want any, any men going against women and women going against men. They wanted to know everybody who was going against everybody. That's a, and that's a fact. That's true. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Yeah. That's, you, ever seen the, you, all, you see the statues with all the Olympians and they always are naked and everything. Right. Yeah, they had naked Olympics. Really? Yeah. For we that reason. That. For that reason. So now... Many years later, look at what we have now. We got males swimming yeah. against women and going against women and swimming and in sports, and it's just, it's all messed up. It's, and I believe all this started with um, Barry Sotero, who was Obama. That's where all this kind yeah. of pushed to the forefront. Yeah, he did. He, he brought in oh, yeah. a mess. Yeah, it wasn't, the, it wasn't like this before he got done. Right. No. I agree. Um, and so you don't believe that men should, do you believe women should play in men's sports? No. Nope. But what I don't understand is these women are complaining about women playing in men's sport. 
I mean, men playing in women's sport, mm -hmm. but they are for women playing in men's sport. They don't, have, they don't complain about that at all. And I wonder what's the difference? If they think women can play in men's sport, karate and football and all that, why are they satisfied with women playing in, men playing in women's sport? They're both the same. It's just that the man may have on a dress, but it's still the <laughs> same. So well, why are they complaining about that? Because they know if men come to their sport, they're going to lose. I know, but why? If, if, right, they do know that. And so why are they so for women getting into men's sport when they know that the man can beat the woman? I believe it goes back to that whole ism, which is division. Yeah. You know, um, Had you thought about that before right now, that... They, they don't complain, they pushing women into men's stuff, mm -hmm. but they are complaining when men come into their stuff. Had you thought about that? I hadn't pondered it, no, I hadn't it, thought about it. It makes sense? It we, makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. so next time you ask them, well, okay, if you're not for men playing in women's sport, why are you for women playing in men's sport? It's the same thing. That's a great point. I believe that those who should be in women's sports are those who are born with the uterus. The ones who be in men's sports should be the ones who are born with the privy member of a man. That's right. No exceptions. Right. But the women are uh, two-faced it. <laughs> <laughs> some can be, some can be. Have you ever met one that wasn't? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I have. Have yeah. you? Yeah. No, you haven't. You had to ponder it. I have. So I'm trying to think, yeah, I have. Right. Because not only, I'm trying to think, because not only can women be, but men can be two-faced too. There's a lot of people who but are But a two -faced. man that's two-faced, it has the nature of his mother. So what's the woman has the nature of? She's two-faced. The devil. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. <Right. laughs>